Let's learn how to transfer poses from Dash to Cloth3D or Marvelous Designer. First, you need to install Dash, and I hope you have already done it. This is the interface. On the left hand side, you will find My Dash 3D Library. Expand it, and there will be a bunch of options. Choose People and click on Genesis 8 Female. You can also choose Male. Here, double click on Genesis 8.1 Basic Female. Just note one thing you can explore various avatars or characters, but these are free. Alright, here I'm blurring things out because I don't want any unnecessary conflict from YouTube. To resolve this conflict, I would bump up the diffuse overlay weight. Please note, this is completely optional. I'm just doing it because of YouTube. Now, click on the posing tab and select this bone. Make sure you select the left shoulder bend bone. In the rotation segment, shift the bend a bit to have a slightly more A pose. Just remember, the more A pose, the better MD can handle simulations, especially on the sleeve. I'd bend it to minus 10 degrees. Do the same thing on this bone, right shoulder bend. And here, the opposite. 10 degrees. Now, do the same thing with the thigh bone and make sure you are shifting the side to side slider, maybe minus 2, and opposite here. And you are quite done with your basic character. Now, all you have to do is to go File, Export, and choose your desired destination. Make sure it's FBX because FBX stores all the bones. And yeah, I don't understand all these technical things, but I think that's how it works. Give it a name and save. Leave everything as is and hit accept. Your avatar is exported successfully. Now for the posing part, delete this and add a new avatar just like you did earlier. Otherwise the pose will not register. Then in the Genesis 8 female category, expand poses. By default, you will have this basic pose and it's free. You can download or purchase other poses it's completely your call. In the base pose, you'll find various poses, and I only like this walking pose. Double click to apply the pose, and boom. Now, all you have to do is to export this as you did last time. Very simple. Well, you can do it multiple times with multiple poses, but for this tutorial, I will just show you one single time. Great. Now, get back to my favorite software. All right, as you can see, this is your main avatar. And this is the walking pose. Just ignore this one. Drag this onto Cloth3D or Marvel's Designer. Everything will be the same except for minor things. You can leave everything as is. Just make sure the scale is set to centimeter. Dash Studio. All right. Very first, I'm gonna select my avatar by double clicking it, and in the property window, I will delete the texture and give it a gray color. It's optional. Very important. Make sure you have skeleton underneath your avatar. You can see it here. Now select your avatar, then go to File, Save as, Avatar. And you can create brand new folder just like me. Make sure it is under your avatar folder and hit save. Okay, this time save the pose. How? Pretty simple. File, Save as, Pose. Give it a name and save. And you can delete this avatar now. It is saved in your Glow3D's local library. Cool. And do the same thing with the walking pose. Drag it onto Glow3D. This time, a message will pop up saying, this is not an A pose or T pose. That's perfectly fine. Hit OK. Select the avatar by double clicking it. Go to File, Save as, Pose. Give it a name and save. Again, make sure you save them in your Glow3D's avatar folder. Great, lastly, just for checking, in the library panel, double click on the avatar, rows, uh, you might not have it. I'm in a folder because I just gave this name to my avatar. <sighs> Such a weird thing. I saved them all in the study folder. And yes, I have one avatar and two poses. Let's check them. Double click on the avatar to import the avatar. After you import the avatar, you can make anything any dress or any dress. Alright, 
Here I'm using the last project I've done just for the tutorial. And now if you want to change the pose, just double click on the walking pose. Pose only and hit OK. And wait to see the magic. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is. Now, if you want to revert the pose to the previous pose, double click on the A pose, not the avatar. And here's how I do poses in Glow 3D. I know there are multiple better ways to do it, but this is how I do it. If this video is helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new to this channel, I usually make digital dresses in Glow 3D. You can subscribe if you want. And don't forget to comment. I read them all. I love them all. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.